Ching Chen guys in the black and the red headgear is Kempo Karate. So Wing Chun guy, ooh, look at that. Wing Chun guys, notice how footwork is so important to make Wing Chun work, right? Dude, besides when we watch Mark, how Mark used head movement, this Wing Chun guy is using footwork, man. Wow. We're seeing parts of the equation that we normally don't see Wing Chun people have. This guy in black got the footwork, man. His punches could be a little better, but... He's got superior footwork. Karate guy's tripping over himself. Kempo Karate guy, it, the red, is tripping over himself. So, this was continuous sparring, by the way. So, they're not going to go super, super hard. But it's continuous, so there's no stop. It's just because there's a hit, right? There you go. Kempo guy trying his combos. It's just, he's too light on his feet, man. This is a case where being light on your feet doesn't work. If you're spazzy, that is. That's what I mean. Like, he's a little light on his feet in a spazzy way. So, here's the second round. Let's see if Kempo guy has adapted. See, he's switching his stances. Yeah. He's telegraphing when he wants to go in. That's another problem. Wing Chun guy with... Oh, there we go. Trying some blitz. Oh, that was good combo. Notice how it was explosive, right? You got to just go for it. You can't telegraph. Oh, great. Great punch combo by Wing Chun guy. Dude, I like that Kempo Karate guy's having fun, too. Nice. See, head movement and footwork. This Wing Chun guy has both. Wow. There we go. If Kempo guy added some head movement, he'd be able to be better with his combo. Like, you can tell he's thinking combos. He just needs to get his head off center line too much, right? The one thing that Wing Chun people are good at is that center line, man. You got to get your head off center line to fight a Wing Chun guy. Or else they're going to just blitz different angle punches right down the center line, right down the pipe on you. But really, really good head movement by the Wing Chun guy. Keith Maza Wing Chun guy throwing the punches. He's in black. There's a Mui Yat guy. Ooh, ouch. Um, the guy in blue is a Mui Yat Wing Chun guy. So um, this is quite a Wing Chun match, different styles, right? And um, Jerry Devone, or Jerry Devone, I don't know. Um, he might be Italian. Jerry Devone. Ooh, throwing a high kick. Ooh. Wow, this is on Sifu Redman's channel. Sifu Redman's been on my channel, so I wanted to give him more shout-outs. The guy's awesome. So, look at how they hold their hands, right? The Dude, I love this. I love seeing all this trapping. Woo. The Moyak guy, his name's Bobby Brown. So... Bobby got back into the fight trooper right there. A little leg kick by Jerry. Um, Keith Mazai's Wing Chun guy. Wow. This is what I love. I love to see. We all know um, if Wing Chun fights Wing Chun, we're going to see some flair, right? But I'll show you. Ooh, ouch. He ate a punch. Yeah, uh, probably TKO. Oh, that's not just TKO. That's KO right there. Wow. So let's see what happens. We'll see Jerry, the Keith Mazai Wing Chun guy. Against someone else that's not Wing Chun, so right there. Oh, it was just um, it was just a right punch right there. So this is on Sifu Rasun's channel, and again, that's Jerry over there, Jerry Devone, and he's fighting DJ. DJ is a regular on Man of Stand Up too. By the way, both of these were from Novel Bell, um's Man of Stand Up. So here he goes, oof, blitzing in. Nice. He knows how to shell up, which is already better than a lot of Wing Chun people. Went to the ground and got stood up again. So he's trying to get to the inside and then do some damage there. DJ, by the way, DJ has a lot of good fight IQ too. So DJ's doing Bagua. So it's a Kung Fu on Kung Fu match, but um, DJ's very different than um, Jerry, the Wing Chun guy. So look at that. He got him into the pocket. Dude, look at that. DJ's frustrated, man. That's him right there. Look at that. That's um, that's Sifu Redman right there with the camera right there. Oh, that's Sifu Redman. Ah, dude. Small world, man. I love this. Look at that. He got him. He got him. He got him. Sometimes volume and speed, right? Sometimes that's enough to overwhelm them. So, look at that. DJ's very tired. Nice. I like that combo right there. DJ just has to, has to have his hands a little bit more up. So, ooh. That was interesting. He used, um, I don't know if it was intentional or not. He used his 
left arm to sort of almost provide a little shield. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Throw kicks, man. You're much longer than him. Ooh, he, he threw some Bagua techniques, man. Don't know if it worked, but he definitely tried. Hmm. Here we go. Um, Jerry, a.k.a. the Wing Chun guy, slowing down a little bit. He's flat-footed now, and he's... So, our Bagua guy had a good idea earlier. Just don't circle methodically. Circle, you know, cut angles, right? Use the Bagua footwork to cut angles. So, that long hair is definitely getting in his way, <laughs> the Wing Chun guy. So, let's see. He's doing a very decent job with his pairing and his trapping, man. Very decent job. Look at that. Fighting a much, much taller guy. Wing Chun guy's doing well, man. Of course, Boxer's going to be like, Oh my God, I don't see any Wing Chun. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. There's some Wing Chun in this. It's not going to look like Ip Man movies, but there's definitely lots of attempts at different types of angles with your hands, right? Uh, I love the guy in this suit. The guy in this suit is so excited. I love it. Dude, these events just had an energy, guys. You can feel it, right? These events just had an energy. Oh, nice punch down the middle. So, I don't think elbows were allowed in this. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, I can't find the first part of this match, but... I'm pretty sure Jerry took this. If you watched this far, please press a like. As you guys know, I love finding gems like this. So gems, gems, G-E-M's. It sounded like gems, but gems still, yeah. Recently, just from viewers and from people I've talked to on Fight Commentary Chats, I've been stumbling on more and more of these awesome matches. So I encourage all of you guys, if you have any clips you want me to look at, send them to me. You can send them to me on Facebook, not Instagram. I really dislike Instagram. Shout out viewer Miles. Miles helps me monitor my Facebook. If you have clips you want to send to me, please show me. Lots of ways to contact me. I don't really check Instagram or Facebook too much anymore. But if you do contact me on Facebook, I will eventually get it. Instagram, I can't guarantee. I want you guys to let me know in the comments which style or which region of martial arts do you think I haven't given enough credit or coverage yet? Let me know in the comments. Phrased another way, what do you want me to cover more that you don't think I've covered enough? Now, here's where you guys have to do some research, right? You guys have to look at my channel because obviously the YouTube algorithm doesn't always promote all the videos. Search whichever style before you tell me I don't cover that style because maybe I've covered that style many times, you just haven't seen it in your feed or your recommended videos or your suggested videos. But I look forward to hearing your comments on what styles you think I haven't covered enough slash I should be covering more. Okay guys, make sure to press like and if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Shout out all the people that I featured. I will always of course link in the description and the end cards. So anyone that wants to contact me, I got Sifu Redman on my channel, but I would love to interview you again, Sifu Redman, and Sifu Rasun too. I would love to interview you. So everyone, including the Wing Chun vs. Kempo Karate, that clip, whoever was in that clip, let me know. I would love to interview you guys. Okay, guys. Fight fam. Talk to you soon.